It was a somber atmosphere this morning at State House when cabinet ministers showed up to visit President David Granger, who spent the last three weeks in Cuba. During the welcome home and prayer ceremony this morning, the president expressed profound gratitude to his cabinet members, staff and the rest of the nation for their support, prayers and well wishes for his complete recovery. A statement from the Ministry of the Presidency quoted him as saying, Thank you for your expressions of concern over the last three weeks. Throughout that time, I received greetings from you all and from other well-wishers, and more than the greetings, prayers, and I am truly grateful. End quote. The head of state also expressed gratitude to Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu and Foreign Affairs Minister Carl Greenwich for continuing to govern seamlessly during his absence. Accompanied by his wife, the head of state traveled to Cuba on October 30th to undergo medical investigation. While in Cuba, however, the president was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma after an intensive series of tests by specialist doctors at a hospital in Havana. The president's medical team performed a number of medical interventions, including the first round of chemotherapy treatment last week. According to the Ministry of the Presidency, the Guyanese leader has responded well to the treatment and was given approval to return to Guyana. As such, President Granger and his wife returned home last evening. However, while the president is back home, the evening news understands that he will be traveling back and forth between Guyana and Cuba to continue his chemo treatment until May next year. Since the announcement of his diagnosis, well wishes for the president's full and complete recovery have been pouring in. Reporting for the evening news, Vanu Manikchan.